Alright, this is question number 12. It asks us to find the equation for a tangent line at x equals 0 for the function e raised to the power of x squared minus 4x. So the first thing we want to do here is find the point on the graph that is at 0. So remember, any point on any graph is always in the form of x comma f of x. So first we need to plug 0 into f to find its the corresponding y value. So f of 0 equals e to the 0 minus 0, which is obviously just e to the 0. And anything raised to the 0th power is just 1. All right, so now we know our point of interest is 0 comma 1. All right, so now the next hint is it has the word tangent line. So we know there's going to be a derivative involved. So what we really need to know is the slope at the point zero because for an equation of any line we need at one point and one slope. So now we have the point. Let's find the slope of the tangent line at that point. So we find our general derivative. So what we have here is e raised to e x squared minus 4x. So the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So that means for any, for any x, the derivative is just e to the x. So what we have is e to the x squared minus 4x. So the derivative will be e to the x squared minus 4x. Now the only difference is what we had in the exponent was not just x. It was a function of x, right? So what we have to do now is multiply by the derivative of the inside. So the inside function was x squared minus 4x. So we have to find that derivative. So that means f prime of x equals e to the x squared minus 4x times the derivative of this. The derivative of x squared is just 2x minus 4. All right, now we can go ahead and plug in our x value, which is 0, into here. And that will tell us what the slope of the tangent line is at 0. So we get e, this is just 0 times 0 minus 4, right? Just plug that in. This is 1, that's negative 4. So our slope now is negative 4. So, so we're almost done now. We have found the point of interest and the slope of interest. Now we just have to find the equation for the line. So. We can use, always use this equation, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, right? Where this is the x value of the point, the y value of the point, and the slope. So we get y minus 1 equals, now the slope, which is negative 4, times x minus 0. And then we just bring that 1 over, we're going to get negative 4 x plus one. That's going to be your final answer.